Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we'll be talking about my productivity setup for 2024. Talking about the desk, this is a desk my dad made a couple of years back and it still holds its purpose till this day. It's nothing fancy like those standing desks you see on YouTube or those Alex IKEA setups. But I do plan on upgrading my desk soon, so if you want to see a video about that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm an Apple user, so that means I'm using the M2 Mac Mini. Now, talking about the Mac Mini, I upgraded my Mac Mini to 16GB of RAM and it has 128GB of storage. Reggie from the future here to correct the wrongs I made in the video. The correct specs of my M2 Mac Mini are M2 processor with 16GB of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage which isn't a problem for me because i upgraded my mac mini to a tiny mac studio because i'm using the setachi hub this allows me to get the ports from the back to the front and allows me to put an ssd which i already upgraded to one terabytes of storage it's a cheaper alternative for you if you're trying to upgrade your Mac Mini. The Satechi USB-C hub for the Mac Mini offers an efficient solution for expanding connectivity options. While only taking one Type-C port of your Mac Mini, the Satechi hub offers you an SD, microSD card slot, three USB-A slots, one headphone jack, and one Type-C slot. For the monitor, I use an LG monitor that's the 27UL500W. I chose this monitor over a 1080p monitor because it was good for the price. This is a 4K monitor which allows me to get the maximum quality out of my Mac Mini. For keyboards, I'm using the MX Mechanical. This keyboard is renowned for its exponential typing experience, offering users tactile feedback and satisfying key presses. Utilizing Cherry MX switches known for their durability and precision, the MX Mechanical key keyboard delivers consistent performance and responsiveness. With customizable backlighting options and programmable keys, users can tailor the keyboard to their preferences for both aesthetics and functionality. Now to pair with my MX Master keys, I'm using the Logitech MX Master 3S. I use the MX Master 3S over the Apple Magic Mouse because the MX Master 3S fits very nice in your hand and you don't get any cramps from using the mouse for a long period of time. That's my productivity setup done. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you in my next video.